Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be exploring the history of Sydney's Goods Line. The Goods Line is effectively a rail trail uh, made up of the old rail line that linked Sydney Yard uh, to the port at Darling Harbour, or the old port at Darling Harbour, and was later extended to Dulwich Hill. It's an old freight line. This line opened in 1855 and that extension to Dulwich Hill opened in 1922. The port at Darling Harbour closed in the 1980s and in 1997 the Inner West Light Rail Line opened from Central to Piermont using part of the old rail alignment. So you got the line here headed towards um, Central, but as you turn this corner and head up the track a little bit, that is the old rail alignment of the old freight line through to um, the Darling Harbour port and uh, also the main line at Dulwich Hill. As years went on, the line, the light rail line was extended to Lilyfield and then Dulwich Hill using this old rail alignment. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to walk from the uh, Dulwich Hill end, or I should say uh, Powerhouse Museum end, of uh, the Goods Line right through to the Sydney Yard end. Some of the tracks still exist along the uh, alignment. And there's actually a few railway related things along here as well that they've, uh, that they've kept. <laughs> so in these garden beds you can see uh, remnants of the tracks and the old points lever. Very well done. I had done a video on this a uh, good few years ago, more, more than a few years ago, uh, but decided to do a bit more of an in-depth one, a bit less rushed, because I think the, the first part I did of this was quite, <laughs> quite rushed. Here we have the Marianne Street culvert. Um, let me zoom in so you all can have a bit of a read of that. Here we go. Just pause the video, have a bit of a read, and then resume the video when you're done. Now, interestingly enough, if you press these things here, water comes out of them.
So yeah, there's there's train tracks. Still visible. Well, in quite a few spots. You have this uh, UTS Business School building, which I believe is supposed to resemble a paper bag. <laughs> a very unique building, I suppose. There's room here for people to play ping pong, students and all. Very weird, but very interesting building. of a lawn area lots of beautiful plants too so I'm in my element train enthusiast uh, exploring history and I am a gardener as well uh, we've got the old railway bridge here but before we before we look at the old rail bridge we have Another view of the paper bag building. <laughs> and the remnants of the old signal box. But, uh, only the levers remain. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna give you all a look at these bits and pieces here. So another thing where you just pause the video, have a read, and then resume when you're done. We'll have a look at all of them, and then we'll have a look at the signal box. So we'll start off with the information here. riding on the front too. What was once a gritty working class in a suburb is now an attractive hub for residents, workers and students. From here to the world. So this is to do with the signal box. So after this one, I'll actually show you the signal box or what's left of it. There it is, when it was in one piece. Yeah, unfortunately, as it said in that bit of information there is the, uh, it was set alight, unfortunately. So you got the signal levers there. Would have been a beautiful building in its time for sure. Uh, Ultimo Road Underbridge, which is the bridge we're about to go over. So just keep that in mind. And there's the bridge to the right. Oh yeah, pretty much to the right of the photo. The KB. Tooth Lager. Beautiful old steam locomotive hauling some old cars.
those known as island shunters were given the dangerous task of breaking apart and joining train carriages by hand. Right, you've got the, the diagram showing the arrangement, the roads and signals, which we'll get to in just a moment. There's a beautiful photo looking over the goods line. Let's walk over the Ultimo Road underbridge now. We'll walk down the stairs and I'll give you a look uh, beside the thing. I actually mightn't have to walk down the stairs. I can just go around the corner and have a look over this sort of balcony. Yeah, beautiful. All right. Now we can walk light right along the old tracks, which we'll get to in just a minute. There's actually a group of people coming. So this track leads right up um, to Sydney Yard. It goes uh, under a building and pops up in Sydney Yard. So um, for those of you who are familiar with um, Sydney's rail network and are, are familiar with going through Sydney Yard, uh, the slew of tracks that head into um, Central's country platforms, so platforms 1 to 14, uh, you'll notice to the left of platform 1, there is a track that goes sort of downhill and curves around to the left and looks as if it goes underground. It's uh, pretty much because it does. It um, swings around to the left and goes under this building and out through here um, to the goods lane. And is actually... Um, an old signal up here too, um, signal SY80 I think it is. So SY being Sydney Yard. Some nice old buildings here too. The ABC building. Got a bit of work happening around it there. So we'll head upstairs. Actually, we'll head up the escalators. Lazy, I know. <laughs> and down the stairs. You know, there's a signal up there to the left, so we'll get a much closer look at that. And then I'll show you um, through the gap in the fence the tunnel that heads up to Sydney Yard uh, near Sydney Terminal. Sydney Terminal's just, uh, or was just uh, another name uh, for Central Station's um, intercity, interstate, country platforms. Right, there's the tunnel. There's the escalators <laughs> that are blocked off. That's all right. There are stairs here. that old signal. I mean, that's fine. I was going to do some 
SY80. Pretty cool views from up here too. Looks like there may have been maybe overhead wiring here at some point. Okay, you still got the tracks. That head up to Sydney Terminal, so it's just a short tunnel. I head up to Sydney Yard, sorry, I should say. And uh this tunnel through here just heads up towards Railway Square and uh, or you can just continue through the Devonshire Street Tunnel onto Central Station. But anyway, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up and share the video. Subscribe, all that good stuff. It's always greatly appreciated and we'll catch you very, very soon. Ciao.